think on this. How would you feel if Sunday is your regular rest day off from work? But just because Christmas Day falls on that day, your boss unilaterally decides you do not deserve an extra day of rest. Added to that, the previous Christmas you were entitled to three days off during the season. But months before this particular holiday, a law was passed giving only two days. This is the kind of injustice and ill treatment that was meted out to Samuel Sharp. Up to 1830, the enslaved were allowed three days holiday at Christmas. In February 1831, the House of Assembly passed a law reducing Christmas holidays from three to two, Christmas and Boxing Day only. Since Christmas Day 1831 fell on Sunday, a rest day, Sharp believed that they were entitled to the following Tuesday. A strike ensued. The resistance to work ballooned into what history records as the Christmas Rebellion, the ill-fated event that helped pave the way to freedom. Born about 1780, Sam Sharp was the slave of an English lawyer in Montego Bay, St. James. Sharp was a lay deacon of the Birchall Baptist Church and became a leader in the congregation. Samuel, Sam, Daddy Sharp, saw the injustices of slavery and inspired his fellow brothers and sisters to participate in Jamaica's first strike action. There were no labor laws at that time that spoke to the rights or privileges of slaves. Sharp may be considered a forerunner to the labor movement as he fought for the rights of his fellow workers. For this, Samuel Sharp was hanged on May 23, 1832. But as he said, I would rather die upon yonder gallows than live in slavery. In 1834, the abolition bill was passed by the British Parliament, and in 1838, slavery was abolished. <laughs>